Well, we now have episode three, and who would have thought that this show just gets worse and worse and worse? It's really, again, it's it's never a surprise that, you know, this just seems to be a thing that happens with most shows, is, that, is they start off very shite and then just get progressively worse. I've never seen a show start off shite and get better, you know, may, maybe years ago. But these days, whenever a, a show starts the way it does, you know what, what route it's going. And with this episode, this is the episode where we pretend like we've put in groundwork for characters and characters' relationships. We pretend that our main two characters, forget that the, the Lark and Fuel, you know, we act like we've built up their relationship or, or something like that. That's That's essentially what this episode is. It drags on, they don't do shit, and I'm just thinking to myself, you know you've only only got four episodes, and you're most likely not getting another season. I don't know if that is the case or not yet. My guess is it's probably, it's probably not getting another season. My prediction is Lauren Hissrich hasn't got very long at Netflix. It's not going to be very long till they just axe the entire Witcher show. They might as well carry it on it is just pointless, especially when you when you drop shit like this. And just think, they had the Netflix had the nerve to drop this entire show on Christmas Day. You know, if that isn't a big fuck you, I don't know what is. I really don't. But should we just get into it anyway? Because as always, I don't want to be here too long, but we're probably gonna because there's plenty of shit in this episode. Just uh, utter nonsense. Been no work put into it whatsoever. Do you want to know why? Because it's a first draft. You know, it's so obvious when shit is just a first draft. Nobody has thought about what they're actually doing. They've just went, nah, that will do. That will do. People will eat it up. You know, it hasn't, hasn't worked out this time, though. Uh, but where were we? On the previous episode, we had a big monster where Dumbo over here went and started fucking with this thing she never seen. And she started getting chased. And, you know, we, we dove right into it. Somehow there's a portal open. Don't know how the guy done that. So they all run for this portal, uh, jump through it, and the monster comes through as well. But the portal closes and cuts off his tail and kills him. So they ain't got they ain't got to fight it or nothing like that. Uh, fucking hell. So, yeah, it's already dead. That That is fucking shite CGI, you know, it really, it really is. Very cheap. So, it's dead. As you can see there, it's got its, its tail cut off. You know, it's, it's very strange. I, I, don't, I still don't know how they ended up going to a different place rather than going where they, where they meant to go. Oh, that, that's right. We need to, we need to somehow come up with how the witches were created. So we had a bunch of bullshit happen just for that. But we'll soon talk about that. Uh, an absolute lot of shite just for how the witches were created. Just contrived bullshit. So they, they just like walk not even that far. And that, that dwarf just so happens to be there. <clears throat> why Why is she there? Why Why would she be exactly where they come out of that monolith? Uh, why Why would they be right near where our house is? Oh, oh, that's right. We couldn't come up with a way that made sense for these characters to meet. So we just said, oh, she's just standing by the side of the road. And she just happens across them. So already, we're already starting off very lazy. And they, they're looking up at this shitty-looking look, CGI monster. Uh, and she's like, come with me if you want to live. Well, what the fuck are you going to... Uh, it hasn't even spotted you, so I don't know why you're saying come with me if you want to live. So, we, yeah, we've already started off. The dwarf just so happens to be there. Okay. And, and also, the dwarf knows everything about their adventures. Everything they've done in the past two episodes. How could that happen? She did she use the internet? Is is that is that how word spread through the internet? That she knows every little detail to what this group has been doing. 
Uh, no, I'm calling bullshit. They seem to think that in a fantasy world, a world, and especially in this world, where there's just little settlements dotted about far away from each other, that somehow all this stuff can just spread through the entire land within hours. You know, days at the most. Uh, yeah, all right, that's how, that's how that works. So she just knows everything they've done. They just came across her on the side of the road. So we could have our diversity squad. I guess, I guess that's what we call them. So, yeah, she knows everything about them. Um, uh, so then they, then they come up with an idea about how to... How to kill... Because they've got to get into Zintreya. How they kill the princess's fucking beast. So that little mage guy... That broke out of prison. You know, he broke out of prison. We'd never seen it happen. He was just, oh, I'm exactly where you guys turned up. That guy decides, oh, I I should become one with it. Uh, the Yeah, they, they want to use the corpse of the monster that just so happened to jump through the portal. That they just so happened to come across. They could use its heart for, for the mage to then become one with it. So... They tr he transforms, you know, that, that that's his plan. You know, how he knows about all this, I don't know, but already it's, oh, we needed them to come across this fucking worm thing just on the basis of, well, we need to defeat this thing. We, we, need, the, we need the creation of the Witcher. So we just fall in a portal by accident, and then it follows us out, and then it dies. We don't even have to fight it. Uh, and, oh, yeah, fucking hell. I'm so tired of this utter laziness. Why, why didn't you just have more episodes? You know, in fact, scratch that. Uh, nah, you might as well just write this shit. So he's going to become one with it. And then the lark is like, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Or is that... In a, I don't know if that's a little later on. Uh, so is there anything... Uh, yeah, they're just like, hopefully that will be enough. And just remember, this beast can just look at you and kill you. That's that's all it takes for it to kill uh, to kill people. So then, th th these two go out and have a a crying fucking bullshit. Uh, a lot of crying in this episode, and it's it's a very strange thing that I don't give a fuck about any of them, because I don't know nothing about any of them. But she's all scared. Because they tried it once or something, and and it went wrong. They they like tried to revive someone, and it went all wrong. Uh, they say it's their mother, and no, these pe two people aren't brother and sister. They they were just born on the same day, but they seem to f they talk like oh no, it's our mother. No, no, it's her mother. <laughs> you were just born on the same day. So she's like, I don't want to do it. She, uh, she's like, maybe I should just let the world end or something like that. But then she decides to do it anyways, right? So fucking why waste our time? Why why waste our time on characters that we haven't fucking built up anyway? We we don't know nothing about. We don't care about them. But they yeah they seem to think that oh you, you care about you just care about them if they just turn up one day. <sighs> so this guy's looking for. Uh, this little thing in the in that of uh, uh, Baylor's bedroom. This is the thing where they can go to other worlds, and he he just leaves it under his floorboards. Uh, it seems like you maybe want to put that somewhere a little bit a, a little bit more more secure than just oh it's under some creaky floorboards. You you would think something that important would be locked away, but no, he's just left it under his under his floor. Because I, I guess no one would think to look there. So he's got that. We do a lot of jumping about to different shit. Nothing, nothing is connected in this show whatsoever. Uh, it's just, it's such a disjointed show. It's just a bit of this, a bit of that. Uh, it doesn't quite mix well. It's just all bollocks. Every single scene, I, I don't think there was a scene in this episode where there wasn't an issue. It was just constant. So she's like decided to do it as something. Uh, yeah, this this is when the lark decides I'll do it. 
It's her destiny. So she's volunteered to, because, oh, you can't do it with a, a mage. You need to do it with a warrior. I, I don't know what, how that logic, it's like, no, he knows what he's doing. Whereas you don't, so I wouldn't really trust you. Uh, she's like, let her do what she wants to do. Trust me. So they, they go out here and have a long-winded conversation. You'll probably get a kick out of this anyway. If you remember, in the previous episode, we found out that the Lark, this twat here, burnt an entire family to death alive. Burnt them alive. And she thought... Like, she wanted to atone for it. So what she said was... I'll go and play my music. That will make up for it. She seems to think by her going out and playing music that that makes up for her burning a family alive, burning children, the mother, the father. She thinks, oh, I can atone for it by singing. No, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what made you think that. <laughs> that, that. That will somehow make you atone for it by singing music. Fucking unbelievable. I don't, I don't, oh, that, that's just such, uh, honestly, such a first draft, isn't it? It really is. I just don't know how you write that and think, oh, that makes sense. Just, it makes her sound like a fucking idiot. And that, she, you know, they all, they're all idiots in this show. Everybody is a fucking idiot. So he's like, tr again, they're, they're trying to make out that these two have a very meaningful relationship. They've known each other a few days. There's been no work put into them, you know, their relationship being of anything. And also in the first episode, it turned out that he tore out her brother's eye. <laughs> I guess that's just been forgotten now. So, yeah, he, he tells her, you can't do it. Let me do it. You bring so much hope to this world. When the fuck did that happen? When did she ever bring hope to the world? She burned a family and then thought she could atone for it by playing music, by singing. Bringing hope to this world. O have we seen this? Have we seen this? Or are we just being told something again and just expected to go along with it? <sighs> Fucking hell. And then he's like, I bring nothing but death. It's like, no, she's killed people as well. She burned an entire family. <laughs> so he starts crying and all that. Why? Why do you even care about her? You, you you only came together just to defeat people. You you barely know each other. And you're acting like you're in love. This is like the episode where they go, Oh, they've fallen in love now they have. Out of nowhere. That's had no no build up, no groundwork laid. It's just, ah, they love each other now. Right, great. So where do we go here? So yeah, they have that conversation. So this is like the the that monster's heart. That look that looks a bit too big for the, the you know the size of that monster. But all right. So that's what they're going to use to do this. So then she comes in and she goes. She, she asks, uh, "I I I might die tomorrow. Where's my fucking wake, you whore sons?" Trying to be edgy again. Uh, it just came across as really cringe. So they they then start throwing in like a party and all that. She starts dancing about eating food that she got from somewhere. She must have popped down the shop. I don't know. So they, they start just having this big party. It's like, can we just get on with it? Can we just get on with it? No, we've got to drag the entire fucking episode out. So they start having a drink and all that. Uh, we're, we're about to get into even dafter territory. So, yeah, as it turns out, there's no secret entrance into Zintreya, even though he said there fucking was. Why would he lie? Why would he lie? And then, you know, it's not even like... A, they don't even treat it like this is a big revelation. But he, he just tells... Uh, uh, fucking what's the name? So she's, you know, she storms off in a huff about it. But it's like, why are you waiting to... Uh, they're going to go to Sintreya in the fucking morning. And he he's all of a sudden now... Oh, there's no secret entrance. 
Why, why, why would you make that up and then not tell anybody till the night before you're going to storm the palace? I, I don't get it. I, I, I really don't get it. You know, they, they're basic, what they basically try and do is they try and have a twist in the show where she betrays them, but she doesn't really betray them. That, that's, that's what they're doing. So they're setting up, up as a twist. They're trying to justify her later on turning in full. But then it turns out, oh, no, it was just a twist. We just tricked you. But they, as if that justified her, you know, going off. So that's the only reason why there's no secret entrance. I don't understand why he made it up. I don't know why he would make it up. He didn't have to. Everyone was in on... They wanted to do the plan no matter what. So why lie about it? Fucking hell, just fuck off. Again, you, it's like he, he waited to the last day to actually share this information. Uh, and, the, and then this this woman's like, so we'll have to fight our way in. With, we don't have sail swords. So he's royally fucked everyone. But not to worry... Because she comes up with some contrived bullshit just to to be able to get into the in the, the palace. And it doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. So we don't have a secret entrance now. You left that last minute. I'm just like, why why does the Lark love this guy? Dunno. I dunno, I guess the, the plot calls for it. I don't know. So is that all yeah, he's just like, we'll improvise. You don't know how to fucking improvise. So that, as you can tell, really annoyed me. So she's got a, a wanted poster of F uh, Fajal, or whatever its fucking name is. Uh, get, I have a name that's easier to pronounce, that's all I can say. So, yeah, she's, she looks at his wanted poster, so she, you're supposed to believe, oh, she's going to turn him in. For, like, why? Just because he said there's not a secret entrance. So now we're back in Zintreya with the princess that killed her brother. And we're supposed to root for her. I don't know why you would. And she's with uh, the little apprentice boy. And he he's brought her the, the little thing that opens up other worlds. And just as uh, just as she's going, oh, you got it, good. Uh, Baylor storms in and, and does that. Um, then she runs off and goes to get... Uh, and and now she's the she's the actual empress. It took took her ten seconds. It took her to do something that she could have done ages ago. All she had to do was go and get the guy saying, "Right, let's get him." And she's already taken and she's taken over. So you could have done that fucking ages ago. If that that's all it took, that is all it took to take control. Is you got one guy on your side, one guy. Fuck it, it's so boring. So, what a boring way to do it. You know, she didn't even, she didn't have to be smart to do this. She's not fucking smart anyway, but she didn't have to be smart to, to take over. It's just, oh, I'll go and call for that. Uh, it, it'll come and get you. I'm the Empress now. Right, that's how that works. Uh, you know, why do we give a fuck about her? Don't know. So, he's been... He's now been taken away. Fucking hell. That, that was... What a boring way to do it. What a... What a... It's like, why even bother? Why even bother showing up if it's just... Oh, guards, come in. He attacked the apprentice. The guards take him away. She takes over. Right. Whatever. Let's just move on, because that's absolute bullshit. So, then these two are having a conversation about some bollocks. She's talking about, but they're talking about, why do you talk to your, your Warhammer? Why do you call it Gwen? So she talks about a dwarven girlfriend that had a big pair of tits, because we're edgy in this show. <sighs> Fucking hell. So, and then he talks about why why he's in love with that, that fucking mage woman. He starts crying and all that again. Everybody's just crying in this episode. Uh, the, the the men mainly. So then then twat face starts singing, fucking hell, just piss off. 
I, d I don't even know. Why Why are we wasting time on this, them having a party? Is it is it just to pretend like, oh, we're building these characters up? We are. We we are setting up their... No, you're just, you're just dumping it. That's, you're just dumping all the information on everybody to the point that you can't even keep up. So that's that's really all we've got here. She starts singing. Everybody starts crying again. Fuck off crying. She just sung a song. And no, you, doing that is not going to atone for burning a family. I still, I still can't believe she thought she would be able to atone for killing people by singing songs. Fuck me. Oh, Jesus Christ. So whereabouts are we? I think that's pretty much it. So we just find out about Gwen and fucking why that guy's in love with a mage. It's it's really it's really just shit you couldn't give a fuck about. So where are we going now? That that I, I at least I could skip that part anyway, so that's good. Sing your fucking song. Then they go out here and lie down. Uh do they talk about anything? Not really. They don't they don't really say anything important. Uh, she's just thinking about, oh, I've got to go and do this tomorrow. Uh, then, no, they start talking about if we'd been bored, if we were bored under different stars, we would have different lives. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> uh, yeah, she just, I wish we'd been born under the same stars. Why? They, 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 they're just pretending like these two have a relationship. They don't. Uh, they don't. So she falls asleep, and when she wakes up in the morning, uh, he decides to transform. Fuck me, this scene This scene really did go on for a while, didn't it? Jesus Christ. Yeah, so they kiss. And then she wakes up with, uh, you know, unnatural light coming through the forest. Uh, it, it's, it's like, it looks like a state. It looks like a set. It looks like you're on a set. That's that's not how sun works. But Whatever. So yeah, he's he's decided to transform himself before she woke up. <laughs> so they they're like trying to hold him down. Uh, they're going, he's strong, he's strong. Uh, and th and then it gets worse. They they they're like you know they're doing all that. He's strong. He's strong. they got fucking rope here. And she says, tie him up. Why didn't you do that already? Why are you waiting till he's doing all this to go, all right, now tie him up? And, and you've, you had rope here the whole time. And you had people holding him down rather than just going, shit, we better get the rope on him. Even though you should have the rope on him before you started this. Fucking idiots. They really are. Uh, then we... we that, the narrator of this show is pissing me off because she's of no use to anyone. She, she just repeats what we've just seen. She says, so far was transforming. Oh, oh right. Yeah, we just seen that. We just seen that. You, you, we don't need a narrator in this show. You don't need it. You're not making use of her. You, you are just having her tell us stuff that we just fucking seen. And acting like she has a purpose. She doesn't. So, yeah, he, they, they're giving him all the, all the potions and stuff. So he's going mental. Then we go to Zintreya, where the narrator talks again. Fucking just waffling. Desperate to be a part of the story. So you have these two, these two like walk come out. Come out at the exact same time. Fucking hell, that's that's that makes sense, doesn't it? And then, yeah, you can have let's have a have a little look at her armor. Because that is some shit fucking armor. Look how bad that looks. Pl cheap plastic, cheap. You get that in, to in Toys R Us, and it's like it's you know it's shit because you can just stab in here, look. You can just stab in there. You can just, where's your helmet? You, you don't have a helmet. Just stab your ear. Look, you, you, you're dead. So not very, not very good armor, is it? So they they come out to start all this, and then it doesn't work. So now they need to release Baylor. Fucking hell! Why waste your time on anything? So, yeah, they, they arrested Baylor earlier, took over, and now they've got to get Baylor out again because this apprentice th can't do it because he's an apprentice. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why they could think he, he could do it in the first place. Uh, but they did. And then they're like, oh, 
yeah, he's like, this is folly. We should uh, go and get Baylor back. And she's like, we, we just arrested. What do, what do we need him for? And then we just get more bullshit. And let me see. Uh, yeah, they, they explain what they're doing again because we didn't already know. He says, if we can't access the gateway, we can't conquer new worlds. It's like, I know that. She knows that. We all know it. Why are you saying it? That's right, because you think everybody is as stupid as you are. Uh, that being the writers. <coughs> so where do we go from here? So, yeah, they, they start talking about, oh, you, you know, they're about to access this gateway. And then now they're like, because they've been prevented from doing it because they have to go and get bail or now. She's like, ready your re ready your people, your soldiers. It's like you, you were just about to go. Why didn't you already have them here? That's right, because you read the script and you knew, oh, no, we'd have to get Baylor first. Fucking honest. How, how do you make just little mis How do you make mistakes like that, really? And then, then they start talking about, oh, yeah, we need to we need to go and conquer these new worlds for resources because there's famine and that could that could cause an uprising. And the, the question I'm still left with in this show, what famine? What type of famine is it? Why is there famine? Has nobody figured out you can plant things in the fucking ground? Has no one figured that out? Again, you can't just say oh, fam famine because famine. You can't just say that. It's like, what type of fa Why is there a famine? Is it is it bad soil? What is it? What has went wrong? Why is there famine? I don't know. I don't, There just is famine that's come out of nowhere. Where's it come from? Why? I don't get it. I don't know why there's a famine. What Again, what type of famine? They don't tell you. They don't tell you. Fucking hell. Because the world building is shit in this as well. So, yeah, she's like ready a scouting party. It's like you probably should have already had them ready. Uh, you were about to go. So, f going through all this shit, she's like, because she wants wants them to stop it, but if they stop it, he'll die. And, th and then they're like, oh, this is just, we're just preparing him. We haven't actually done the procedure yet. Oh, fucking hell. So, we've wasted more time on just preparing him for it. Oh, this is fucking shit. So, where else have we got? Uh, what else have we got? Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I think next we've got like, a weird conversation. Uh, so they release him. Uh, yeah, they do all this spell shit. Uh, and then he's he like wakes up like a bit mental. He's got like black eyes. Uh, like you see the Witcher have when he takes a potion. So that's what happens. Then we have we cut we cut from that to have these two yapping on about bollocks it's it's another weird conversation of the, the writers on this show never have they've never spoke to anyone do they not know how conversations operate she goes from one thing to the next thing to the next thing it's like what the fuck kind of conversation is this i i really every conversation in this show so far is strange every time anyone says anything it's so strange it really is, because what what do we get here? We get uh, we we go from uh, uh you know the Elven Empire is built on the bones of dwarves, bigger. That's what we get. Basically, it's Lauren Hitzrich having a little spurt of activism. <laughs> you know, it's that it's that usual thing where basically she's like blaming him for the dwarves being treated poorly. Even though the things that happened happened, he wasn't alive then. So that that's that's the kind of thing they're going for. He's about to say, "Well, it wasn't me," and she's like, "Wasn't me? Is that what you were gonna say?" It's like, "Yeah, it wasn't him." So your dwarven fucking pricks has got nothing to do with him. But that's the type of thing we're going for. Uh, and then she goes from that to, uh, let me see. Uh, it, then she says, oh, do you know why I call the monoliths cock towers? And then she goes from that to, do you think we can kill the empress? How how did you get from 
basically racism to can we defeat the Empress? I, I don't know what conversation that was. It was just throw this shit in here. Throw that shit in there. That's all it was. Uh, you know, throw that in there that even though you didn't take part in something, you're still to blame anyway. Throw that in there. And then we just have a waffle on to a load of other stuff. That it's like, no, from where we started, where you're going doesn't make any sense. It's not a conversation. <sighs> Fucking hell. And then, and then like, because Skian, she's already pissed off. She pissed off ages ago. And then after they're talking that waffle, she right, she stands up and goes, where's Skian? Oh, oh you've only just realised. You've only, Was she out here, was she? Was she out here a minute ago? I don't know. Uh, she, they, they didn't show her. So then they show her riding off to the to uh, Zintreya. So they, they're trying to make it look like, oh, she's betraying them. She's going to turn it, turn them in. So she goes, oh, I'll tell you, this stuff is fucking bullshit as well. So they take her in uh, to see the princess. By the way, they don't take her weapons off her. I, I, why, why wouldn't you? And because when she gets in there, she says, "You know, I could kill you if I want." It's like, and then they're like uh, pulling their swords. It's like, no, you should have took her swords off her. Why are you letting her roam the castle or the palace with with swords? I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, they haven't thought about it. They they never thought about it. So they've got her walking about in close con uh, in close proximity to the empress. With, and you haven't took her swords off her. Right, that look, that makes sense, doesn't it? Fucking retards. So then she like, look, so, you know, I want my, my sword and stuff. So let me just, let me just get to where we are. Uh, so, yeah, we've, have we covered all that, have we? Well, we're not very far away from the end anyway, so we ain't got too long to go. So... Yeah, they're basically like, you're a traitor. No, you're a traitor. Uh, you betrayed this and you betrayed that. And so it's, it's, you know, shit like that. So then she gives out, she, she's like, I'm going to turn you over full stone art. And what I want is, I want my clan's sword. Uh, what, I forget what she calls it now. So she wants the sword. And then, th then she starts making demands where I'm like, no, it would. Why? Why? Why would? Why would they go along with this? So what she asks for? She asks for fifty of the Empress's soldiers. She says, uh, "What does she say?" She says, uh, "I require fifty of your soldiers to help me bring him in." Now, why? Why would they not just go? Why would they not just say, "Now nah, we got it"? Just tell. Just tell us where he is. Why? Why would they go? Oh yeah, we'll we'll let you. Stranger, lead my my soldiers. Why why would they go for this? What that you know? It's it's like me going in into a police station and going, I need fifty of your coppers to help me bring this guy in. They go, what? No, it's all right, mate. We'll lead. We'll do it. You know, it's the same thing. It's like there's no way this empress, unless she's dumb as fuck, and she is dumb as fuck. That's the reason why she hasn't picked up on the fact that oh, she's gonna she's gonna. She she's lying to you. She's lying to you. She just ah, uh, I, I I don't know. What an absolute shit show. So they just think that would work. That she would demand, give me fifty of your soldiers. A again, they just say, nah, nah, we'll do it. What what do we need you for? No, nothing. Fuck, oh, it's such a such a bad show. It really is. And then, then she she doesn't even take so a sword is like like the the empress says all right I'll give you what you want uh, for some reason that asking for fifty of your own men that worked on you did it and then she she like leaves without even taking a, a sword it's like no you came here for, to get your sword back take your sword <laughs> uh, I I better check actually when we when we get to a part later if she actually has the sword because I I think they've just forgot to go. Oh yeah, she should have grabbed the sword then, shouldn't she? I I don't know if she I don't know if it's one of those things where she'll get it once she's done it. We'll have to see if the, a sword is there in the in the scabbard later on. So he's he's now a witcher. 
Because a load of contrived bullshit happened and now he's a witcher. That's how witchers came to be. That these, these, you know, seven twats felt like went into a portal. It didn't take them where they meant to go for some reason. We never find out why. <coughs> that, <coughs> oh fuck. That when that guy, you know, the guy said he'd, he'd use the portals, but th this time when he portaled, it took him the wrong place. Because we needed to come across that creature. And then we needed to somehow open up another portal. How that worked, I don't know. So it can jump through. The portal closes and cuts its its tail off. So then we can go, oh, we could use that the heart of that thing that just so happened to come through the portal. That we just so happened to come across. So then we can create the first Witcher. Fucking hell. So, they, yeah... They, He's, like, a bit mental. He's like, I just want to kill things. So then they kiss, and then they have sex, uh, and then, you know, most of this stuff we can we can skip. Which is good. It's always good to get stuff like that, because then, like, good, I can fucking skip it. So he's now in a prison cell. You know, they only got one prison cell in this place. Uh, and he, he's talking to the that deaf woman that does sign language. That is definitely important to the story. She's not there to check a box or nothing. She's actually there for, for, for the story. She's got a character she has. Fucking hell. So then the queen comes in. And it's like. So she waited an entire day to go and get Baylor. That's what happened. An entire day. You said I'll go and talk to Baylor. A day later you're like. You know you spoke to that woman. And now you're, you've only just come here. You know, I thought you were in a rush. I thought you were in a rush to conquer new worlds when your own world's fucked. Because that's, that's all another world needs, isn't it? So we can go through. You know, he lets she lets the, the deaf woman stay alive. Um, and then she comes back. She says, oh, I was just scouting ahead. So at this point, we still think she's betraying them for some reason. So she sees her. She says, oh, it didn't work. And then he, she goes, oh, no, we did it on him. And then she throws a knife at him. It's like, what, what if he didn't catch it? You, you, you threw a knife at him. What if he? What if it didn't work? What, what if they said, oh, well, actually, it did. it's like, you know, you're just throwing a fucking knife at his head. <laughs> How would you even know that you would catch it? Fucking unbelievable. I don't, I don't know what you do. You just threw a knife at him. So yeah, they she's taking a shit or something, and just just remember. So yeah, now now those those cut they cut. So they're walking down here, and then they go, oh, it's a dead end. It, it's like you live around these parts. You didn't know this was a dead end. It's like you live around here. So then the fifty men that she asked for, they come marching up, and then she, uh, skiing. I've got to try and remember these names. Uh, you know, it's if you've got good characters, people remember their names. Uh, but unfortunately, in this, we don't we don't have good characters, so their names are very forgettable. You know, I th I think the best example of knowing every character's name within one episode is the Haunting of Hill House. Within one episode, you know every character's fucking names and what they're about. Whereas in this, no, they don't do any of that. You don't know the, the characters' names. Because they're not characters. They're just people that say, I feel this way. And I want to do this because of this. They they just tell you. Right. So then, yeah, she betrays them. Again, I can't get over the fact that... That the Empress allowed her to... To lead her soldiers to find Stoneheart. I, d I don't know why she'd do that. Fucking... It doesn't make sense. So, yeah, then she starts... In fact, we need to check. Does she have it in a scabbard? I can't remember. No, I don't. No, I don't think she does. All right. So she didn't get the sword while she was there. I don't know. I'm just. No, I don't think she did. Uh, yeah, and then she. Then they they start killing them. 
Uh, they start, and there's like archers up there. She she even had the time to go and find, to go and get some cell swords. She had enough time to travel to Sandrea and then travel somewhere to get some cell swords to stand up above these rocks and shoot like shoot arrows down. You know, just when they were saying, you know, the other episode they said we need to get some cell swords. They didn't bother their ass getting cell swords, so she just turned up with cell swords. Uh, a lot of traveling she must have done. So yeah, we just get a load of fighting and all that. Uh, do we have anything else in this? Uh, so yeah, they're they're gonna put they're gonna put like these uniforms on, so then they can sneak into the palace. And you know, take over it, kill everybody. Because the, the the Empress is such a dumb, stupid fucking bitch that when someone asked her that she didn't know, said, Give me fifty of your men, she sent them with her. Because we, we needed this to happen. So now they're gonna march. They're on the march. So you can imagine one of my questions in a second is going to be, so they're going to be expecting their soldiers to come back, and and we we have a we have a dwarf wearing wearing the suit of armor. Now they they already know there's no dwarfs in their fucking ranks, so already they're not going to let you in, are they? They're going to go, oh, why have you got a dwarf with you in our armor? We we don't have dwarfs a part of our army. So straight away, yeah, you've already, you've already fucked yourself by, by turning up with a dwarf. They already know there's not a dwarf with the soldiers. They they would have seen them leave. There's there's no dwarfs in fucking Zintrea. <coughs> These this is an elven army. So already your plan doesn't work. They're going to notice straight away. Although let me guess, they're probably they're, they're not. They're just going to go. Oh, there's a dwarf there. That's fine. That's probably what's going to happen. So they show up at the gates. He's all angry and all that. She has to hum to him to calm him down. Uh, they're, they're like, hold that hold that rage inside of you till, till you see the beast. And that is the episode. So very shite, very, very poorly done. Fucking hell. Not a not a thing makes sense in this show. It really doesn't. Especially that stuff with oh, give me fifty of your men, me stranger. What that that still just baffles me that the Empress would go along with it. But then again, she is dumb as fucking shit. That is very apparent from what we've seen. But the the amount of stuff they 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 just rush through and leave out and, and then pretend like they've done the work. It's, it's just fucking unbelievable. Absolutely horrendous. Definitely a first draft. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Because nobody has thought about anything. They haven't thought about anything. They've just went, well, we need this and this to happen. So this stupid shit happens. Uh, that's, that's all they've done. So episode three, as you can tell, is the worst so far. I, I think at the moment, for the worst, it goes... Episode 3, Episode 1, Episode 2, but my guess is 4. Episode 4 is probably going to be the worst. We shall see. Uh, you know, I could go and watch Episode 4 now, and I'm like, nah, fuck it, I'll leave it to the morning. Because I think I'm done with this show. I, I spent about over an hour watching this episode, and, you know, we've been here like 45 minutes. So I'm going to kick back, have a rest, and then we'll get episode four done tomorrow. I still haven't even done Willow episode six yet. So I've got a load of shit to get done before we go, before we start the new year. So I guess I'll just, you know, on that note, I will finish. But yeah, the show, this show is fucking dog shit. 